The south of the island has finally started to experience a transformation in its water supply. I've been in view for doing business for the past 30 years and uh, water has been a serious challenge. For years, the residents of Viewfort, neighboring communities, and the industrial and tourism sectors have had to cope with an unreliable and at times turbid water supply. The result of an aging and disintegrating water system. We have had monumental problems. During the dry season, the water intake has been insufficient. Second thing was, that in moments of very heavy rainfall, you had serious problems of um, turbidity. In other words, um, the water was just um, discolored, um, the quality was not good, and there was always an ever-present threat of um, disease or other infection caused by the turbid water supply. Yeah, we have, we have some um, water problems sometimes in the fourth and then in the afternoon time, you just take the water and all night time, you get in the water back and then when you get it back, it's dirty. Dr. Kennedy Anthony, the Member of Parliament for Viewfort South, was Prime Minister in 2011 when a decision was taken to remedy the water wars of the South once and for all. This project was actually conceived by the St. Lucia Labour Party when it was in office between 2011 and 2016. In fact, the details of the project were announced in 2015. This project, which is a, quite a costly undertaking, being financed by the Caribbean Development Bank through the government, is going to greatly enhance water supplies through all of Viewfort and Interlabory. The total project cost has been placed at just over 31 million US dollars. Funding came from the Caribbean Development Bank, the government of St. Lucia and Wasco. The project entailed several components. Um, the building of two new water treatment plants, um, the building of two new uh, water intakes, raw water intakes, um, the running of about 15 kilometers of transmission pipeline, uh, five store water storage tanks with a capacity of over 5,000 cubic meters. The plant was built by Vinci Construction Grand Projet of France with CES Consulting Engineers supervising the works. It's 2022 and the aging water treatment plant in Grace has been replaced. The modern facility is the most advanced water treatment plant in St. Lucia and possibly the Eastern Caribbean. But the Grace treatment plant is quite a state-of-the-art plant. This Grace plant um, provides us with um, a high, very high level of treatment for turbidity and for other issues that might arise. The raw water comes in from, from the intake and we essentially um, get the, the sediments which would have been in the river out of the system and then um, it moves on to the second phase which is the, the main treatment um, process where we have the filters which then take out the, the smaller smaller sediments which would not have been caught from the pre-treatment side and then um, we have the, the chlorination which is the final stage of the treatment process. So the new systems essentially would provide the proper treatment for turbidity and allow us therefore to continue supplying water even during times of heavy rainfall. Water storage has also been addressed under this project. This plant at Grace is designed to meet the demands of the South for the next two decades at least. We also have the construction of a new water tank um, with a capacity of approximately 250,000 gallons um, of storage. That will make a big difference in terms of the water supply because most of our water supply comes from the Grace plant. So we have tanks in Beausejo, we have a tank here in Grace, we have tanks refurbished in Ogier, we have tanks in Labry, Latterney, so all these areas in Viewfort, we are trying to, to, to provide and supply with, uh, with, uh, with good water. One more tank I forgot in Beanfield, which will also be refurbished. So we are also touching Beanfield area. From here, everything is gravity fed. So there is no um, additional energy consumption once it leaves the plant. This water treatment plant is fully automated. A similar plant has been built in Beauceju, giving the South two state-of-the-art water treatment plants. The entire facility at Beauceju is being rehabilitated. So where we are here, we are located between the river 
and the future plant site. And you can see in the background the treated water reservoir. First, we built the, the platform here to resist hurricane and to have it above flood levels. Second, all the facilities are equipped with standby generator. So in case you have a power cut, the generator automatic, automatically starts and then power the, the plants and the pumps so there is no interruption in the water supply. And that is great news for the business community in the South. They've had to invest huge sums in water storage tanks just to stay in business. Water is a very important component to the things we do. We're in the restaurant business and we're into the guest service business, which means we have a guest house. And therefore, of course, water and the quality of water mattered a lot to us. Water is uh, everything in our production facility. Um, without it, we cannot function. And um, on a daily basis, as I mentioned, it is almost 20,000 gallons we use. We have um, seven 1,000 gallon tanks and then we have an internal pump. So when the supplies are low or the quality is, is not up to, up to par, we would um, use our pump to distribute through the building. There is yet another component to the Viewfort water supply redevelopment project. It entails the preparation of a watershed management plan, and this includes the Water Resources Management Agency, WRMA. There are two key interventions identified so far. One is a reforestation program in the upper reaches of the, of, the, of the watershed because after Thomas and during the Christmas Eve trough, there were a number of landslides in those areas. The other intervention involves the construction of what is called check dams. It's almost like an intake, but what it does, it, it holds back the, um, the, the, um, the sediments. So it reduces sediment flow. This means a check dam will help reduce turbidity in the water reaching the treatment plant. So major water relief is finally coming to Viewfort and environs. We see the works happening all around. Um, the airport itself would love to, to, to be plugged into, into a, a steady supply. And so we just look forward to the project being, being successful. Um, Viewfort is an industrial center for the country as a whole and a decent water supply, a healthy water supply, a quality water supply is crucial. Let's not forget that's where we make our beers. If Wasco can produce the quality and the, the amount and consistency of water, I'm seeing it will open doors for more businesses to invest. Yeah, that's very good news, man. I hope we will get clean water when they finish do their job. Having this particular project and increasing the water supply would allow for an efficient um, running of our operations as well as sub subsidiary operations within the general vicinity of the airport. It, it has implications across the entire range of activity that, that can happen within a community from you know, residential through commercial, industrial, touristic. What I hope will happen, however, is that the modernization that we are seeing in the plant here will be extended to other parts of the, of the country because there are communities throughout St. Lucia that badly need a reliable water supply. The infrastructure works in the Viewfort Water Supply Redevelopment Project will be completed by August 2022. The technical assistance components, including the watershed management, will be wrapped up by year end, bringing an end to decades of water woes.